What's up guys, welcome back to another Epic Comic Book Haul, this is episode number 136, thanks for joining my channel, and thanks for supporting my channel. Let's make sure you click on the subscribe button guys, because these comic book hauls are hot. Alright, so, we're gonna get things started with uh, Half Price Books. These were all 25 cents, I mean you throw it in the Mylar too, definitely a must have. So I picked out some uh, key issues, if I still remember what it is. That's Aquaman number one. Here's another Aquaman number one, right? Different volumes. And we have Aquaman number one, The New Wave. What's so special about this one, guys? DC Universe logo, of course. Super hard to find. Actually, this is my first time seeing Aquaman with a DC Universe logo. Here's number 23. With the first appearance of Deep Blue. Here's Aquaman number 26. Here's Aquaman number 5 into the deep. Too deep. Here's uh, Aquaman number 16 versus Justice League right there. And that's going to bring it into the Half Price Books Hall. Another DC Universe logo. Uh, in addition, this is a 700 issue. So it's definitely a celebration in itself. So I removed the price sticker carefully. Those annoying 25 cents pie stickers are paying the ass, but I had to do it because it's a DC Universe logo. Alright, got sticker removed. Now we're going to apply some isopropyl alcohol to clean it up. See that? No more residue and it's not sticky. It's good to go. Just like new. All right, check it. Now we are going to a comic book store that's located 50 minutes away. Definitely worth the drive. I think it's my third time there now. This is The Flash, Blackest Night number one. Jeff Johns. Awesome art too. That would look great on the glow in the dark cover. We have um, Spider-Man City at War number four. This is Game Reverse Edition. And I think I grabbed a couple of these. Um, trying to collect, finish the series. So that's his costume in the video game, the PS4 video game, I think. And um, I'm sure these are lower print, by the way. Here's number two. Vault of Spiders number one. Spider Gitten. War of Realms. Spider Man and the Eagle. And the Eagle of Realms. League of Realms. Spider-Man, number two, the variant edition. Looks like he got shrunken down to Ant-Man, unless that's a giant. Right, that's number three, another variant edition. What if the X-Men were... What? I don't know. Is this a C plus programming, or is that a Python? Doesn't look like Python, so probably C++, something like that. Ripley's Believe It or Not, True Ghost Story, 15 cents. How old is this comic, yo? For 15 cents cover? That's back in um, 1971. Wow, that's old. Raiders of the Lost Ark, number one. Worlds Collide. This is the uh, the premium edition right here, see? The normal edition is the uh, acetate cover, I think. If these stick stick on things, stickers. Old Man Hawkeye number six of Venom. Old Man Hawkeye number five. Got another Venom. This is a freaky looking Venom, isn't it? Looks like something from a nightmare. I mean, Venom is not that scary, but this one is like just crazy looking. War of Realms, Giant Man number one. Uh, variant edition. Looks like featuring all his past. Wait, wait. that's Ant Man and these are G Giant Man and I don't know what's going on. Whoever ever can grow in size, I guess. That's why it's called that. This is the regular edition. That's the variant edition. Very, I finally have my very first Major X comic, Rob Liefeld. This is now. This is definitely proportionate to his body. First time seeing Rob Liefeld art having proportionate body <laughs> parts. That's the best footwork 
foot artwork I've ever seen Rob Liefeld do. So he's improving, guys. Wrath of the Spectre number one. This is 1988 series. Wow. Blue Devil number one. Finally have that in my collection. This is a low key helm issue, you know, nothing too extravagant. Mystic Arcana, Sister Grimm. That could be the first appearance. I don't know that much about Sister Grimm. We have this cover price of $5.99 for Infinity Wars number one. I don't know who that is. Looking like an anime character. Look at, check out this, the spectacles on him. It's like in the shape of infinity. <laughs> Giant Size Gambit. I never knew this one existed. A collection of classic stories featuring Rage and Cajun. Gambit. Still waiting for that movie, man. They should team him up with Wolverine. I think that would be awesome. Here is a signed comic right there. Kaiju Max. From Oni Press. Alright. Don't know that much about White Fox, but it's a variant edition. Also featuring Future Avengers. Got some Halo comics right there for the gamer lovers. That's a variant edition too. Heroes Return with Doomsday. I mean, I've seen Heroes Return, uh, Reborn, I mean, but not this Doctor Doom. Check this out. Um, this one is in Spanish or Portuguese. Check it out. Wow. Number 37. I'm surprised he let me have it too. For 25 cents, it's in great condition too. This is a 1986. See that? Beautiful. Beautiful too. It says Barcelona. So Spain. Spanish. Beautiful. Love these. Here's another one. Classical is Marvel. Look at that. Number one too. So these are definitely hard to find. I'm going to have to find something that fits it to bag and board it. Chuck Norris number three. I think I own one and two. Now I own number three. I hope that completes the series. But I think there's four issues though. Jungle Action Black Panther is old, guys. I'm guessing 1974, maybe. Because of a 30 cents cover price. And Child's Play 2, number one. Chucky. Heroes for Hire, number one. Got a whole bunch of heroes right there. I guess they're all for hire. I don't know who that is down there. White Tiger. What is this? Detective Comics 691. Um, it's got to be a key issue, I think. I don't have time to look it up. You guys determine that. Here's Animal Man number one. All right. First printing. I believe the second printing is gray cover. Abe Sapien, Drums of the Dead. I think it's one of those key uh, uh, Hellboy comics. Insane Clown Posse number one. So that's a hip hop cover. Actually, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put it on eBay. Alright, so we got Crazy number one. Don't know anything about Crazy. Is that a new character or what? But looks like we have some X-Men, some Fantastic Four and Spider-Man. Ripley believes it or not. True Ghost Stories. Here's one signed. Kiwi Studios, Smith Brown Jones, signed by Beyon. War of the Realms, Strike Force, The Land of Giants. Here's another War of the Realms whole bunch of stuff going on right there wow that's oh, that's an exciting cover I have to admit I'm gonna have to read this War of the Realms number two Spider-Man City of War number three Creature from the Black Lagoon classic so this is my oldest comic guys yeah Uncle Tom's Cabin 15 cents This is my oldest comic, guys. Classics Illustrated, Uncle Tom's Cabin. It is a story written by Harriet Beecher Stowe, who is an abolitionist. And I believe the story is about how a uh, slave escaped from um, being enslaved in the southern states. And check out the cover price. 15 cents. This is from Classics Illustrated, number 15. The condition isn't poor considering the age, guys. What do you guys think? This is a silver age? Check it out. 50s, the 60s? No, this is my oldest comic that I own. 1944. We're talking about during the period of World War II, guys. 
Let me just give you a quick glimpse of it. The colors are pretty sharp considering how old it is. Woo! I'm gonna have to protect this properly. Look at this. Wow. This is the first appearance of Spider Hulk. Must have in anybody's collection who's a Spider Man and Hulk fan. The girl who played with fire. So, um, you know, with the dragon tattoo and all that stuff, that's the first part of that series. Never heard of this uh, hard case crime studio, but it's definitely a low key comic to have. Superpowers number two. All right, we got Lex Luthor in his classic costume. Jack Kirby art right off the bat. I know somebody's copying his style of art. Here's number four. Wonderland. Beautiful art. Jeffrey Scott Campbell. Right off the bat, I pick it up. Because he draws some of the sexiest female characters around. Dennis the Menace and Margaret number one. Look at that 12 cents. This has got to be like a 1960s, late 1960s cover. I bet you. Here's a Charlton Classic. Presents Hercules number one. 40 cents, I'm assuming early 70s maybe. Suicide Squad number 7, featuring the origin of Harley Quinn. Kabam! Finally having my collection, baby. Clive Barker's Hellraiser, the very first Hellraiser in a comic book. Clive Barker, Epic Comics, one of those uh, secondary uh, t uh, sub tier. That Marvel had kind of like DC's vertical. I don't know how to explain it. So that's number one, and that's decided to grab the whole set. Actually, uh, I think one through ten, something like that. These are thick tray paperbacks. Yeah, they didn't number it. Oh, actually, it's numbered on the side. So that's four. That's just five. Okay, this is gonna be a great read before I go to sleep. Six. Seven, eight. Uh, here's number nine, and uh, number ten with a special uh, prismatic foil cover going on. Very sexy, right there. Oh, man, I didn't know it was recording. <laughs> All right, so here is Infinity number four. That is the Thane transformed by the Terrigen Mist. So this is a key issue. Supposedly, this might be an upcoming plot in the Marvel MCU. X-Factor number 15. This is where Angel has his wings amputated. The first partial team of Horsemen of the Apocalypse. This is one of the earliest Teen Titans coming I have. Volume 1, number 129, 15 cents. That's got to be a 1960s uh, Teen Titans. Yeah. Check out the DC logo. That is old school. New Mills and you, number 1, featuring the first appearance of Lila Shaney. Alright, we're going to get to some comics that I've never seen before, and I'm pretty sure you guys might never see before. POW, MIA, Missing in Action, Apple Comics, Vietnam Journal number one. Never seen that before, never heard about it. The Field Jacket, this one is hot. Definitely keeping it in my private collection, guys. And speaking of um, war, the official How to Draw G.I. Joe. See that 1987 Hasbro down here? Easy step by step instruction on how to draw it. This is by Blackthorn. These are True collectors must have if you're a big fan of G.I. Joe. And here's number two with Deathstro, I guess. Zartan. Cover girl. This this is Deathstro. Number three. In the G.I. Joe th in 3D annual. The, the art looks so uh, static, you know? Yeah, so... Uh, maybe that's how they drew it back then. Spider-Man Power Pack. This is um one of these giveaways. Hard to find from the National Education uh, Institute. Here is Black Panther number 11 from the first series from 1978. This features the first appearance of Kibber the Cruel. Uh, I guess the one with the axe, I guess. Here is finally have in my collection, guys.
with friend number 155 guest starring uh, Deadpool paying homage to The Incredible Hulk 340. Of course, I'd rather have The Incredible Hulk 340, which I used to have, but a comic book store chipped me from it. Oh, well, I didn't know better when I was a kid. Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Uh, Hard to find. It's one of these giveaway promotional comics that came with the game, I think, when it was introduced back in the early 2000s, I guess, from Idols and the Actives. Teaming up with Top Cow Comics. Conan the Barbarian. This must be the oldest one I have, guys. Number 11. Can you imagine that? I paid 25 cents for this. Condition is not bad at all. See that? Yeah. Beautiful. Not really a big fan of Conan. But I'm happy to have it in my collection. Okay. Things are starting to heat up. Steaming up. Ready to R. Ready to NC-17. Innovation. Torchy. Number one, there was actually sticker covering the nip slip, so make sure you're adult <laughs> by checking out this video, all right? Not intended for children, all right? This one is sitting printed on eBay. People are selling it for like graded for like what 200 or something like that, raw like 75. And speaking of for mature readers only, genus number one, first issue. See that kind of like a foil cover going on, very sexy art right there. Um, this is the first. Time they drew like these sexy animal characters in exotic poses, I guess, from an Arctic press known for that. Yeah, so this is another, you know, like underground key issue comic book haul. Um, you know, no Star Wars or, or you know, like Spider Man, those main, main titles. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, happy collecting and good luck.